Thank you very much. First of all, we'd like to thank you, our Italian colleagues, for such great job to organize very interesting webinars about our joint bilateral project. So uh, we will talk about the research-based interpretative reconstruction of the archeological monument. And uh, this project from Georgian side was funded by Shota Rustaveli uh, Scientific Foundation. Uh, we will talk about the importance of the original, original context and the importance of the conservation, proper conservation and technical study for uh, interpretative uh, reconstruction of any cultural uh, monuments. Uh, our presentation is divided into part. First part will um, uh, is devoted to the uh, show our showcases, uh, and second part uh, um, uh, is devoted to the uh, our, our about our joint project about the one. Um, about our case study about an anomalous three, it is about the Kurgan. Uh, everyone know what is Kurgan. Kurgan is an um, uh, Eastern European and Central Asian archaeological term for a tumulus, a type of burial mound uh, heaped over the burial chamber. Uh, and a big Kurgan, Kurgan and an hour in number three, uh, 100 meter in, in diameter was excavated in 2012 uh, in East Georgia in Kacheti region by our archaeologist, uh, Dr. Zurab Maharadze. It was very uh, interesting, uh, interesting uh, Kurgan and uh, where the burial chamber was built from wooden beams and um, uh, in whom this chamber was exceptionally well preserved. Uh, in, uh, here you see the photo of uh, excavated burial chamber and it was first time when we found two wooden chariots together in the grave. And uh, as I told you, we told it, um, uh, the construction was built by the wood uh, beams and uh, the whole, the uh, grave was very rich in organic materials, which allows us to do several um, radiocarbon dating. And uh, the chamber date is uh, 24th century BC. It is uh, second part of third millennium BC uh, and belong to so-called Edenic culture. Uh, these two chariots was very bad damaged and um, um, uh, besides these organic wooden materials in this um, Kugan were excavated to discover it, 23 gold pieces and uh, the amber necklaces, also calcedon rings, uh, ceramic, a lot of um, textile and um, other uh, materials. Um, uh, besides this very interesting object was discovered very unusual for us, the object which you see now on photo. This is photo in situ. Uh, this metal object was attached to the wooden wheel. And we start technical examination of this um, uh, metal item and it was belong to the arsenical copper alloy. And uh, here you see the photos of uh, there were uh, discovered three uh, such objects and exact context uh, and technical study allow us to identify the function of this very unusual object. We will show it in next hour slides. And here is drawing show how it was uh, used for fix the wheel. Uh, and here we have very damaged, damaged uh, chariot, wooden chariot with wheels and uh, also by uh, support of Shota Rustaveli National Foundation, there was possible with 
for us to do long-term conservation and technical study of such amazing chariots. Uh, first, we start the conservation of these wooden pieces for the chariots. And after long-term conservation, we were able to start reconstruction. Here you see our conservator, Vachtang Hoshtaria, works on reconstruction and con restoration of the wheels. And this photo clearly identifies this um, size of the wheel. Uh, each wheel diameter was 160 um, centimeter, more than 160 centimeters. And these photos are uh, is after the chariots after reconstruction and restoration. Everything together, the exact context, the uh, proper conservation methods, uh, the study, interdisciplinary study, everything together allow us to do a virtual um, reconstruction of the steps, how was built the chariots. Uh, our uh, head of this our project, Georgi Parthaladze, worked on this. And here you see the visualization of the steps, how was the built uh, the chariots. And here you see the last part of uh, recon visual reconstruction of the chariots where was attached this unusual uh, metal uh, object. It was for the fix the wheel on the hook. And um, the same was done with the whole construction of the uh, burial chamber. Uh, it was uh, built in uh, with two rows of wooden beams. And uh, the floor was also wooden. Uh, uh, inside of the chamber were three monumental columns, and the roof was with the two rows uh, of round uh, <coughs> wooden beams. And uh, we did the recon steps of uh, creation of the chamber. And Everything together uh, gave us possibility with our German colleagues to do reconstruction of the Ananauri uh, Kurgan. And here is a very small video uh, to show um, the reconstruction of such very interesting barrel mount of Ananauri number three. Uh, as we thought, the steps, how was the built the um, uh, chamber, the wooden floor, the wooden walls, uh, three columns, and inside this amazing two chariots and the roof. So the height uh, was uh, of this um, gun 12, uh, 12 material and uh, itself uh, uh, the burial chamber was belong to the two main persons and uh, in chamber there were seven persons. Besides these materials, which I showed, there were more than 40 uh, uh, ceramic vessels uh, of course, they were destroyed, and our conservators worked to restore on the restoration of the ceramics. And uh, on the floor was um, several lazy, um, several mats, and uh, there were found more than ten textile um, 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 tissues. And we exam we, we did the examination of this textile. It was uh, the wool textile uh, woven on the uh, loom weight uh, machines. So here, uh, after conservation and after this technical study, you see the fruits. Uh, there were also the nuts. 
and everything together. Uh, now this video, this reconstruction is our permanent exhibition and our visitors enjoy this video. Now where we are, uh, our set, uh, now about where we are now about our project. Uh, so uh, our project um, uh, with our uh, Italian colleagues, uh, we are going to work on two point. One is uh, jewelry from the grave eleven from Wani, uh, and another is uh, to work on the reconstruction uh, of re ritual reconstruction of the temple with amazing lamps and these lamps belong to the um, burial hoard discovered in 2007 and this hoard was in a, pit, in a, in a rock cut pit and uh, dating around 100 BC. The hoard was excavated by uh, archaeologist Dimitri Afledian. Uh, um, uh, beside, uh, it was very interesting court um, uh, we, uh, with a lot of um, bronze and iron uh, artifacts, uh, um, except these um, lamps in the court was uh, more than 100 uh, iron arrowheads, uh, two big uh, iron candelabs, um, more than uh, 80 uh, bronze cleaner legs, uh, uh, supports, uh, and big uh, bronze ritual weights. Here you see our uh, great collection of the lamps from the horde, so the Ganymede lamp, Arrow lamps, three nozzle elephant incense burner, uh, six nozzle elephant lamp, and grave leaf lamp. Uh, we did the conservation of each lamp, and um, uh, um, here you see the steps of conservation of one lamp, and after we will show the small, also small video mm -hmm. about the conservation and uh, restoration treatment of the lamp. And um, uh, we uh, study the technology uh, of the uh, lamps. We have, uh, for this project, we have all results about uh, how it was uh, made. Uh, we use the methods uh, for identify the technology of these bronze lamps, um, microscopical study, X-ray study, and study of parallels and iconographical study of the lamps. And for the um, technical study, we use the analytical method for table X-ray fluorescent and also ICPMS for identify the raw material for the um, lamps. Uh, as uh, Daniel told and Pia also told, uh, you know that uh, our scientists and archaeologists uh, are sure that this uh, amazing collection of lengths belong to the so-called mosaician floor. And uh, it is um, uh, the um, uh, mosaician uh, uh, temple uh, is located in central terrace and was destroyed during the invasion of the city in the first century BC. And this temple must have been of special importance and it is clearly demonstrated by temple inventory uh, that is comprised of the unique specimens of bronze plastic art of Hellenistic period who discovered it on the territory of the temple and hoarded it in its surroundings. Uh, so, um, 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 uh, so besides this um, um, very interesting architect, uh, uh, the following offerings were evidenced uh, in this temple. A Colchian wine jar, more than 40 amphores, 120 copper coins, bronze ritual vessel decorated with uh, a statue of Nike, Greek partners of victory, and eagles, as well as high relief representations of Dionysus Circle, Ariadne, Satyr, Mians, and Pan. Uh, and, um, in the frame of our joint project, we are going to do virtual uh, interpretative reconstruction 
of the artificial illumination from this lamp in these amazing temples. And finally, we'd like to show you also a small video to better understanding how important is proper conservation and technical study for um, um, interpretative reconstruction of any kind of archaeological art. We did this project with our collaboration with the Getty Museum. So thank you very much. Thank you.